Hey there guys, All About Swimming episode 8. Welcome guys, today it's another kind of episode of introductions. We're actually going to introduce Ed and Sweeney, baby, yeah! So yeah, we're going to introduce Ed and Sweeney today. It's kind of a little bit weird though, because I'm going to be interviewing myself. How are we going to do that? We got Ayrton and Ed and Sweeney. We've got Ed and Zelta Eagle, we're going to be doing the introduction. But let's just get straight to it. We're going to take a seat down with Ed and Sweeney. It's going to be interesting, let's do it. Oh, can I just add one more thing? We had 700 subscribers, baby! Woohoo! That is huge. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for sharing. It's all it's all you guys. It's all you guys. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. It seems that we are getting some good vibes. We're getting some good vibes, and I'm happy about that. So thank you guys so much. But let's go straight to the interview. Hey there guys, like I said, my name is Ayer Ton and I'm going to be interviewing Ed and Sweeney today. I won't lie, I didn't have much choice doing this, he kind of forced me to do it, but it's okay, I'm a cool guy. He owes me one for sure. Ayrton, great to have you on the channel. This really couldn't have been hard organizing this since this is your own channel, right? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I set this up, I do what I can, I'm the boss, bro. But uh, no, I mean, it wouldn't be an episode without having some shrink shrink on it, you know what I'm talking about. So let's just get this out of the way. You're doing an interview on yourself, with yourself, by yourself. You must love yourself. <laughs> of course I love myself. I mean, how can you expect anyone else to love you if you don't love yourself? Deep. I like that. I knew you'd like that one, we're much the same person, aren't we? This guy's great. On the topic of uh, loving yourself and uh, thinking you're just absolutely amazing, which you are, bro. <laughs> you gotta tell us about your Instagram. I mean, it looks like you love your Instagram and you think people love your Instagram too, don't you? Eh? Yeah, bro, like, I mean, out of all the social media that there is out there today, I just think Instagram's like a lot of positive vibes, you know? I just uh, like to cut that negativity out. I love Instagram. Instagram's cool. Everyone's just sharing their life, having a good time. I mean, what's up? What's wrong with that? Get funny, man on my Instagram. Ed and Sweeney all about something. <laughs> Go get follow. It's worth it. Promise. <laughs> I like that bro. We all about positivity. Shwing shwing. <laughs> now, this is uh, gets a little bit awkward. Do, do you have any t-shirts? Because I'm scrolling through your Instagram right now and uh, there's just there's a lot of topless photos and I'm worried. Do you have any t-shirts? I do have t-shirts, just that I'm a swimmer, so I don't really wear t-shirts that often and obviously I'm posting swimming photos, so that's why I don't have a t-shirt on, you know, so... Uh, I see, I see, um, okay, I see you in those stage of now. <laughs> Dude, where, where did your t-shirt go from? Um, guys, we're starting a GoFundMe for Ethan Sweeney. We have to get him, we gotta get him clothing, we gotta get him t-shirts and specifically t-shirts, you know. He doesn't have enough and... It's, it's obvious by his Instagrams that he that doesn't have enough and it's yeah so we're gonna start the hashtag get Ed and Sweeney a t-shirt hashtag get Ed and Sweeney a t-shirt we start a GoFundMe page we'll put the link below over here guys please be serious about this this is a this is a noble cause thanks bro appreciate it jokes aside jokes aside let's let's get serious tell us tell us what do you swim and what are your main events the 400 Ryan and the Turner Breaststroke, but I do like to some other events so that when my main events aren't feeling so great, I do get a chance to swim some other races and maybe improve them. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Tell me, where are you from? Are you Durban based or are you not from around here? Are you from another planet where someone understands you? <laughs> I'm actually from I'm actually from Cape Town, but I've been living in Durban for about about four years now. Yeah. Oh my gosh, your family must love you. They got rid of you for four years and you're still going strong. Jeez. Screen Dog's family is winning. <laughs> Wish I could get rid of him. What is important to you? What What is important to Ed and Sweeney? Well, definitely family, my friends, and my swimming. And of course, Instagram. You've been swimming for some time now, obviously. To you, what is your most significant achievement? It would definitely be receiving a gold medal in Hong Kong. It was my first international gold medal, and it's obviously quite current. It happened in the last few months, and it was just the most incredible experience. Bro, that's pretty epic, bro. Yeah. That's, that's quite an achievement bro, you should be proud of yourself bro. What or who inspires you? I think I inspire myself actually. I feel I feel that I've overcome a lot of challenges in my life and I'm proud of those achievements and, and uh, obstacles that I've hurled over. So yeah, I'd say I inspire myself. I find inspiration in what I've done. Wow, he really does love himself. I want to have a little bit of fun. If you had won a million dollars, what would you do with it? Definitely go the boring routes and just uh, take that money and 
invested properly. Uh, so hopefully it'll grow and uh, set me up nicely for the future. But uh, before I do that, I'll definitely go take out the boys for an all you can eat wing session. <laughs> yeah. The last book that you read? I'm gonna be real, bro. I'm gonna be quite frank. I don't read. Of course he doesn't read. Absolute classic sweet dog. Any favorite artists? Ah, oh, definitely Future, bro. That guy gives some sick music. You know, you know mask off that. Okay, moving on. When you got free time, what do you get up to? As a group, we go to the beach, go ca catch a bronze, of course, uh, go, out, go out for, for lunches or dinners, we love to go watch movies on the weekend as well, and card games. We're actually playing a lot of card games at the moment. Ah, uh, uh, classic, classic. If you could date any Disney princess, who would it be? I've got one in mind. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro, Mulan, bro. <sighs> Mulan is killing it. I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page there, because Mulan is the bomb. You know, I was young when I watched Mulan, but uh, I had thoughts. Let's go for a tricky one now. What's your favorite color? Why you gotta bring that up, bro? You know I'm colorblind. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I thought I could push it. You know I'm not good with color. We'll move on. Here, we, we got another deep one. What's the biggest decision you've ever made? The most important decision I've ever made in my entire life is not giving up swimming after I didn't qualify for the Olympics in Rio 20, 2016. And, you know, it was a big moment for me. I didn't qualify and all I wanted to do was stop swimming. I didn't want to swim anymore because I felt like the world was ending. And I took two months off if I didn't get in the water once. And over those two months, while I was not swimming, I, I realized that all I want to do is swim. I love swimming. Swimming is a part of me and it wasn't about Olympics. I don't swim because I want to get a certain medal or I want to get a certain time. I swim because I love swimming. And I realized that. And ever since that day when I got back in the pool to start my swimming again, the best thing I ever did. You got deep, bro. <laughs> Respect, bro. What do you feel about pineapple on a pizza? Absolutely love it. I can't get enough pineapple on pizza. I love that sweet and savory. It is my favorite. Dude, I think we're soulmates, bro. What's your most useless talent? I've got like double jointed thumbs. So that's a that's a pretty cool. I can also do it. <laughs> if you give any advice to any of the swimmers watching this video right now, what would you say to them? Be patient. Things will happen when they're supposed to. Patience is a virtue, my son. Patience is a virtue. Listen to the guy. He knows what he's talking about, bro. What's your favorite dessert? 100% chocolate croissant. Oh, so you're French now? I like to pronounce it the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Croissant. 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 We don't have a lot of time, so we're going to move on, but it's a uh, croissant. What would you choose? Honesty or other people's feelings? Definitely honesty. I don't mess around, bro. I'm the most honest guy you can get. I'll tell you to your face. <laughs> this guy's quite a savage. Camping or binge watching series on the weekend? Bro, I don't camp, dude. That's not, that's, I mean, I will, but I choose not to. <laughs> and uh, definitely binge watching like a series like Game of Thrones or Walking Dead. Those are my favorite. And I really like this question. Would you rather be known in your life, but famous when you're dead? Or would you rather be famous while you're alive and forgotten when you've passed? I'd rather be famous when I'm alive. At least I know it's happening, you know? Would you rather be alone or surrounded by annoying people? Well, considering I don't have a choice, probably surrounded by annoying people. I train at uh, Seagull Swimming Club. Um, a lot of annoying people there. Just kidding, just kidding. I love you guys. I love you guys. Here's a good one for you since you're such an Instagram addict. Would you rather never be able to go on social media again, but still able to watch movies? Or never watch movies ever again and be able to use social media? I can't answer that question for you. I'm sorry. I love both. That's not even a realistic realistic question. Who put the who put these who put these questions here? What is swing swing? But swing swing just means positivity, good vibe, go with the flow. It's just to like kind of pick up your spirit of it and I just like saying it. No, this is a good one. I know what I'll choose. Would you rather find love 
or five million dollars. I'm sure I could find some love with five million dollars. <laughs> well, thanks, Ethan Sweeney. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for putting me in a position that I could not refuse. It's kind of nice, nice uh, to find out a little bit more about you. And uh, it's been real. Spring training. <laughs> Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the interview. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Ethan Sweeney a little bit. Ethan Sweeney, just in case you don't know, that's me. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please share, and guys, please subscribe. If you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be insane because we are getting more views than subscribers. But if we could get the same amount of subscribers as views, that would be that would be insane. So guys, please just make a little YouTube account, you know, I know it's not, it's not so much of a mission, so go help a brother out, <laughs> help a brother out. Also, a little bit of news, if you guys share the video on your Facebook or your Instagram or your Twitter, let me know, send me a screenshot on my Instagram and I will put down your name at the end of each video, whoever shared the video the previous week. So they got a hashtag little shout out all about saying, yeah, that's pretty sick, eh? Guys, thank you so much. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Thank you for watching and remember, have a shrink, shrink day. Cha!